Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Unqualified Reviews, uh, where we unqualify review Emily and Perry, starting with season fi- five, episode one. <laughs> Emily and Perry. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're bougie, calling Paris Perry. I think. Fun. Well, no, I think it's supposed to. It's it's like a rhyme. Oh. You know how people rhyme sometimes. You're so real for that. Well, that that's not what we're reviewing today. We're reviewing Drag Race Philippines season three, episode five. The best episode of Drag Race ever made. Of all the franchises. Of all the franchises of all time, I challenge you to name one episode that does everything this episode does. I don't know. I feel like I watch every episode of Drag Race and I immediately forget what happened. So, is this the best episode of Drag Race? Probably. Because it's the only one I can remember right now. That's, first of all, insane. (laughs) But it was really good. It was really good. I don't normally enjoy Snatch Game, but this was good. The best Snatch Game in Philippines history, for sure. Philippines! Philippines. This episode gave you everything. It gave you Kiana. Uh, look at her. Yeah, we started off this episode with immediate drama. The girls were fighting like as soon as they walked in. Into the room. Who will start a fight? I was talking about the fact that she's wearing this wig. <laughs> it's so cunty. Mm, kind of is. Is no one living? No one's living, breathing, eating. You are. I'm living. I live for anything Kiana does, though. That's my uh, mutant gene. Kiana killed me when Jay Quinn was like, I would have been safe anyway. Like, just because you would have walked out doesn't mean I didn't win. I would have been safe. And Kiana was like, that's the problem. You've been safe this whole time. And I was like, oh, she really went there. And I get it. You know, I like Yuripura too. And if my friend was had just left and i was like still trying to grieve and emotionally do that and then i'm sitting here listening to the other girl who i really really wanted to go home sit there and be like and if she was still lip sync against me i would have beat her ass i mean that feels like rubbing salt in the wound it is really rude but go off like her her right to do that that's iconic they will not get off of her sex's neck yeah. She will be she's mentioned in the snatch game. Mhm. Matilda's mentioned every day during the mini challenge too. Mhm. Uh we'll get to today's mini challenge and how that affects Matilda. Oh god. We have Okay, so who did you think the girl in the blonde was when she first walked in? Um I have no clue. Probably pop star. But we find out later, I'm pretty sure that's John. It is. I thought that was Christina Aguilera. Yeah, Christina Aguilera is in the studio with us today. How do you wear hair and it looks like it's, like, illuminating? Like, it looks like it's glowing. It does look really nice. It's, I just, I'm, I mean, I'm a stan. There are, this mm-hmm. is probably the best season well, well, let's wait until we get to the end before I say it's the best season. But it's <laughs> it's it might be my new reference point for what I enjoy. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Season two was also really good. I think we just haven't watched it in a minute. Very true. Vrushka salt. Really- uh, Vrushka salt. Vrushka levels gets <laughs> a mention. She does. Yeah. Oh God. This is the drama. You're, yeah, so you're happy. Kind of, they're all just getting up on her. Thing that she's fake. They want to see the real her. And also there's a bit how she doesn't tip at the bar or something. She was like, she, uh, she was like making a dig at Angel. She's like, girl, and when I go to the bar, I tip you. And then Angel's like, you have never tipped me once in your life. And she looked at the camera and said, girls from this bar, I think it was Revolution Bar, she said. Has this girl ever tipped mm-hmm. you? Sound off in the comment section below. I love it. I love it. I mean... Well, guys, did, did Jake win tip you? Comment below. Comment below in the description. If you were from Revolution Bar, let us know. 
and going and going and <laughs> <No>. gone. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, Kiana was not having you in this episode. She was pissed. How observant of you. Which mm. that's like kind of like that line kind of eats hard. That's iconic. How observant of you. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she they... was also playing it pretty cool in front of everybody, but she was crying in the confessionals. Mm. Well, I feel like that goes also towards... Um, they're saying, like, we feel like we don't see the real you, like you're putting up a wall. And she's saying from behind her wall, I'm fine, this is fine, this isn't bothering me, you guys aren't bothering mm-hmm. me. Which it's like, they want her to tell them that they're bothering her. Yeah. And I love being safe. Wait a minute, sis. Mm. And then we have Angel saying, what if I win this week's challenge and you get sent home? Mm. But we won't get into all of that right now. Uh, let us continue on. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the tips conversation. It's not even about the tips, sis. No, it's not about the tip. Do you actually know? This is, it, it, it gets crazy. It gets crazy. We have to move on. We have to, we have to move on. Uh, yeah, so, they really just started the episode like that. It was insane. Mm-hmm. Then this is, like, kind of how you know it's going to be, like, an insane episode because... What was that? Called. They got it on the first ring. Uh, someone called the landline. Uh, shout, sound off in the comment section if you have a landline in your house. I definitely don't. <laughs> what do you mean? It's in your elevator. In my elevator? Mm-hmm. I don't think anyone's going to reach me from my condo elevator. They haven't tried to reach you about your car's extended warranty? Oh, well, they just call my cell phone. <laughs> No, I don't give out my cell phone number anymore. Not since last time. Well, they just steal it. <laughs> I don't give it away. They just take it. That's so they'll, rude of them. And no one tells them to stop me. that? They'll be calling all the time. That's why I never pick up my phone. If you want to reach me, you can send me a text message. You can send me an email. <laughs> you cannot call me. You, do not, you can send me a cameo for $20. You can Venmo me. You can send me an e-transfer. But otherwise... Mm, do not mm, call me. Do not reach me. Do not call me. Do not beat me. Because you will never reach me. Okay? Crazy. Mm-hmm. Anything is possible. So moving on. The girls all... Yeah, this was heart-wrenching. But we moved mm-hmm. on. She done already had hers. So when did she become, like... I love Apple's new iPhone design. What the fuck is going on here? Did she do it all in this? She said, okay, I'm recording the yeah. TikToks now. Yeah, she recorded on her on her iPhone. Like, why is it? I'm vertical? trying to remember if it's been like this every single time. I feel like it wasn't. I feel like it was just on the TV and it was, it wasn't like this. Yeah, like I feel weird i feel disconcerted i feel uncomfortable rupaul you know rupaul you said something very interesting one time on season all stars six to scarlet envy you said she made you feel uncomfortable well i now know what it's like to be like you rupaul oh god uh yeah i really don't know i really don't know I really wish the wig was bigger if they were going to do this aspect ratio. I kind of would have just died if it, if the silhouette was shoulder down and then hair all the way up. <laughs> and then it was just her face in the center and then these little areas. I would have... We need to move on. So she says nothing, as RuPaul does. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it's time to break this down. Okay. Can we get into this? Hold on. Let me see if they're going to give me a good shot. Okay. Should we get you want to get the shorts in it? You have something to say about the shorts? No, I don't have anything to say about the shorts. I think it balances out. Look out a bit. I like the boots. What's what's going on on top? Yeah, it looks looks, like it looks like he's thrown another suit onto the left shoulder or his his left. It looks like the back rooms tried to generate a guy in a suit. 
But as the backrooms does, it doesn't understand what a guy in a suit is supposed to do or mean. So this is just what it came up with. It kind of eats. It's avant-garde. I kind of like it. Like, I have to be en vente my guard when this guy comes around because I'm scared he's going to rearrange my clothes. Yeah, I'd wear it. I think it's pretty cunty. I like that shoulder. I'd wear the it, shorts? but only if I can I get know. another head to be over here. <laughs> another head. The boots, okay. The the the, sh the shoulder, yes. The shorts, I get a little bit lost. Let's let's get the shot. No, they refuse. There it is. Yeah, I don't know. I remember the shorts being blue. No. <laughs> no, you don't. No, this is my Mandela effect. <laughs> no, they were always brown. Yeah, yeah. I do love the orange shoes. Those shoes. Yeah, I like them. Okay. It's the... a good outfit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it... not recall. From Mama Pow. From Mama Pow. Come on, put some respect on that. So, okay, this mini challenge was so cute. They have 15 minutes to get into quick drag. And BJ Pasqua! I would love this, Mr. BJ. I just need a moment. Well, also, that shirt is trippy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I think they're serving very similar vibes, to be honest. I feel like, you know, BJ is giving that AI generated kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Wait. Are you ready to get BJ'd? Was he? I think I am. <laughs> so Bye BJ. We have to continue on. <laughs> the mini challenge. This is Tita Baby's look. They are doing nineties Y two K inspired looks. 90s and Y2K, mm -hmm. I feel, are two completely different vibes, but yeah. sure. They are posing to be on a notebook. Do you like this look? Um, I don't know. I think it's okay. It gives 90s. We know out of all these girls, at least Tita Baby was around in the 90s. I don't know about, like, Zimba. <laughs> You think Zimba's... Never mind. We have to continue. You don't think Zimba is our age? Or younger? Okay. I, I can see it. Crazy? I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. Did you not, didn't you not know who Spice Girls were? Or somebody didn't <laughs> know? Who no. Girls she were? specifically did not know who was Spice. She said, right. uh, my favorite Spice Girl is a Spice Chicken Sandwich. God. <laughs> I love this look. Spice Girls were my gay awakening. Which one? All of them? All of them. I had a Spice Girls poster. Alright. That's it. That's the only one I can That's get. the only thing. Listen, everyone knows how I found out I was gay. I don't. You, oh, um, <laughs> uh, what do you mean? It's uh, I watched a Tyler Oakley video when I was 13. Oh, really? <laughs> and, I, and I said, wouldn't it be funny if I was gay for YouTube clout? And I didn't make any YouTube videos. Oh, God. And that's why we're here today, for YouTube mm -hmm. clout. I'm here for the YouTube clout. Run me my gay YouTube clout. <laughs> I'm here to be uh, gay and on YouTube, which I hear mm -hmm. is not as in demand as it once was. No. Ten but years I ago, there was, like, a whole, like, group of closeted YouTubers. <laughs> I think they're all out now. That's what we should have run. Why didn't we run the closeted angle? Uh, we still do drag race reviews, but I'm closeted. <laughs> I love girls. There's just something about a woman. Mm -hmm. The Spice Girls were my straight awakening. Damn, that's so rude. <laughs> we have to continue. We have to get on with it. <laughs> love you, Tita Baby. We love Tita Baby was so good this episode. Oh, the whole episode. Look, it's I. They should yeah, sell these at DragCon. They're cute. If you say, uh, "World of Wonder," if you have saved these PNGs somewhere, you can like mass produce these very easily. Yeah, I feel like 
above my TV instead of the JoJo Bizarre Adventure posters, I can have all these. I would collect them all. Iconic. They're cute. Yeah. Could you imagine if, like, Drag Race released, like, themed merchandise, like, based on the episodes as they were going out? It's like, you know, maybe each of the girls for the b premiere episodes have, like, a little toy or something. I think that would be, like, a crazy amount of work that they're never, ever willing mm -hmm. to do. But, like, maybe stickers or something? The, the show could help them, like, you know, to promote the show even more. I yeah. feel like merch for RuPaul's Drag Race would be interesting. It would be, but... We just know that RuPaul would... Pocket the money and run. Up. Yeah. Well, she's already about to retire. She doesn't want to do more mm -hmm. work right now than she has to. Make me the new RuPaul. I will monetize the girls. <laughs> As if they're not monetized enough. Oof. This is uh, Zimba Ding. Mm -hmm. The wig falls off. Popstar bench. Very cute look. This is the most adorable thing I've ever that seen. One is really cute. I want this. Very horny sister. I want this. <laughs> this is adorable. The colors in the background, her cute hair, the outfit, mm -hmm. she works so well. It is super cute. I love that hair. Okay. Mix Chanel. What do you think of the outfit? Meh. <laughs> this is cute. I feel like other compositions are like stronger. Yes. I sure. feel like Drag Race, sorry to go back to merchandising, the fact that they're not releasing trading cards for the queens is ridiculous to mm. me. Right? Trading cards. Like. That's true. I, if any other reality television show like Love Island or something did like cards, I'd be like, okay, that's a little weird. You could yeah. have different variations of the queens based on their runways. That's true. Based on their challenge wins. Like, I just got uh, a shiny Jinx Monsoon double snatch game winner card. <laughs> double snatch game winner card. Like, isn't that... that's it, that, It's it like Pokemon kind of like Boss Orders Guzma. Hmm. I, we can't air this episode. I need to save no. these ideas. <laughs> RuPaul is writing that down. Ugh, RuPaul. RuPaul is writing it down too as we speak. They listen. My Write brain, down, it's like down. I got the mind of a master. Mm -hmm. I would buy it, and you could put them in like little. You could sell them at DragCon. You could get little booster packs, and then like collectors would sell that shit like crazy if you marketed it properly. Mm -hmm. You can have. Imagine RuPaul is like has a commercial break like she's like okay girls you may return to the work room and then they're like all talking chatting 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 and then michelle pulls up like one of those like boxes with all the booster packs in it like you would get for pokemon cards with like a rupaul <laughs> cardboard cut out and like michelle and like one of the other ones here <laughs> the other ones i would put ts madison in of the course. middle but um, and then she takes one and she's like, rips it open and she's like, oh my god, I just got a double ultra godlike holographic RuPaul first edition. <laughs> that would be oh, yeah. stupid. I would love that. Well, if that appears in the next season, we know that RuPaul <laughs> is watching. If there was even like a, like a coincidence of a chance that for some reason we get trading card drag queen... Like, memorabilia, I would lose my mind. That would be really fun. I would never... Because this is documented. I'm sorry, girls. It's documented. I win. <laughs> oh, we're going to lawyer up. <laughs> so this is... Who is this? This is Maxie. <laughs> Listen, a lot of the girls can shapeshift. Mm-hmm. Oh, who's this? Uh, it's... I have no clue. Here comes Kiana. Oh, it is Kiana. I can't read. <laughs> oh. I think Kiana's was the best. Will, will they even show it? Will they give us a glimpse? If they won't, I will go and find it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. She's adorable. Gorgeous. The way also, she's like, positioned sitting on her name. Also the only queen who like sat down on the thing and like did a different pose. Well, that's how you got those sitting down poses. Smart. 
the one the only one they use on her name that is so cute i love i love the vision of this she's like literally a ray of sun in this like cloudy day yeah i love that and it's very y2k Mm-hmm. Surprised no one did like a straight up Lisa Frank kind of thing. Oh no. Oh. Jay Quinn. They're not even going to show it. I told you Christina Aguilera was in the studio. There she is. Okay. I need to go get my glasses. Because, <laughs> like, I think that says John Fedelaga. Hmm. No, I think it says Christina Aguilera. I think it says Pheromone. <laughs> I love this. I mean, if you could see it, seeing is believing. Mm-hmm. I'm like, let me take, let me, let me, we got to see it to believe it. And I got to mute it so to not get copyrighted. Um, there we go. There we go. And no captions, please. Until at least after this. We'll talk about the tea. Adorable. The toes being out is crazy. Yeah. I would personally not put my toes out, but... No. No, I just... You got paid for it. Not pointed feet either. (laughs) That simply would not do in my household. Okay, who do you think this is? Angel? Mm Mm-hmm. Iconic. Look at her. I almost said Miss Jade, so. <laughs> She's back, back, was, back again. It was Angel. Why doesn't the big mama eat the little mama? Look at look at that shot of BJ. <laughs> I know, <laughs> he looks so small. <laughs> oh. Who wins this? Oh, also a good shot. Kiana. Oh, let me see this shot. Oh. Crazy. Excuse me. I love it. It's so cute. Um, Mm -hmm. Keanu wins. So, Matilda has been found dead. Mm -hmm. Kiana has, as the TikTok kids would say, unalived her. Wow. Do you think the terminology unalive has been in the system enough for the system to recognize it as what it's, like, trying to say? Would they do that? (laughs) Well, I feel like that's the point, right? Because, like, why else would you... Like, create a problem when people say, like, the D word. Mm. Or the S word. And if people are just making new terminology for it, how doesn't the system recognize that that's still perpetuating the same stuff? Or is it just a bare minimum approach? I don't know. That's a good question. Never thought about it before. Sound off in the comments section below. YouTube. (laughs) Let me know why your algorithm doesn't work. Tell us how Jay Quinn tipped you. At number one, number YouTube, two. YouTube, tell us if Jay Quinn tipped you at the Revolution Bar YouTube. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I want to wear, like, these, like, thingies. But I don't know. I have too much collarbone to show off. As I wear something that shows none of my collarbone <laughs> off. <laughs> and it's a bad thing to have collarbone? I'm confused. No, I, like, I don't, like, I don't want to hide it. Okay. As I'm hiding it. Okay, I see. Yeah, I she's stri- oh. They fucking tossed BJ. No one is safe. No, uh, John was safe. John <laughs> Santos came in and they did not toss him. Or if they did, they tossed him in an earlier episode and I didn't see. Did they? I don't. I feel like we would remember if they, if they tossed him. Yeah, I'd be scared to toss him. No one is safe, honestly. Miley Cyrus, they're getting the Miley Cyrus getting picked up by Silky Nutmeg Ganache treatment. <laughs> God, this outfit. She is Christina. I kind of like it. <laughs> you can like it. It's unnerving. The girls get together for Snatch Game, and they go around the room. Uh, so, did you get the names of each who everyone was playing? Um, some of them. Do you get, do you have pop stars? Pop star. No. (laughs) All right. I'm going to Google it. Crazy. We literally just watched the episode two. There's no excuse. Oh, 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 it's Sarah, uh, 
Geronimo, Sarah G. Uh, and this that's crazy. So many Famous Geronimo actress. references. Uh, Drag John, Race, Philippines. John Cadillaca was Angel Lassin. I don't know how to pronounce these names. Was also it La Costa? A, I don't know. It's something with an L. Drag Angel. Race, Philippines, Season 3, Snatch, Game. And I'm going to go to the wiki. Okay. No spoilers. For the episode we just watched? For the season. Oh. I, I I searched you can search based on specific episodes. Okay. It is uh, a free wiki, so it is littered with ads, and I'm using my phone, so it's barely usable. Love mm -hmm. love the internet. Um, okay. What the frick? I don't need to know. Okay, it's it's being too general. It's being too general. Give me. Season three, I do, do. You know how to juggle? No. You can't pad for time. Mm, I can tell you what I have in my notes. What do you have in your notes? John is Angel. Mm -hmm. Not not to confuse the angel in the show. A different angel. <laughs> Maxi, who we thought was someone else, <laughs> whose name I kind of don't have either. Was the ghost of Ballot Drive. I think that was him. Uh -huh. Angel was Mariah Clara. That one I know. Uh, Zimba was Wilma Dozen. Uh -huh. Peter, Peter Baby was the Grim Reaper. Mm -hmm. um, I guess Kiana was the dude. Okay, Baron. I have it. Okay, good. So this list is uh, in some kind of alphabetical order, starting with Angel okay. as okay. Maria Clara. Yep. Then we have Jay Quinn as Confucius. Yes. Then we have John Fedelaga as Angel Lashin. Yep. Then we have Kiana as Baron Geisler. Oh, yep. That was correct. Then we have Maxi as Babe Sabalet Drive. Yeah, the ghost. No, that was yeah. Kiana. No, Kiana was the was Baron, the guy. No, next to Angel. No. What do you mean no? That's what I've been telling you this whole time. That there's no way that's Maxi. I was like, what Maxi the is the ghost. Fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the frick, man? <laughs> I watched that entire. I'm. 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 I, I asked you. I was like, "Who is that guy?" And you were like, "It's Maxi." And I was like, "What?" That That's was not Kiana. Yeah. Oh, she's winning this season. Wasn't that crazy? And she was. Oh, she. I guess I'll spoil. She was safe. But that was all. That was insane. <laughs> I was like, how is Maxi safe? That performance was incredible. <laughs> but still, Kiana was safe too. I was like, Kiana was a ghost. It was pretty good. <laughs> it looked nothing like... I, I was like, that's definitely Maxi. So I don't know. I The whole time I didn't know who, who Kiana was. Until the judging when she was safe. I was like, oh. These bitches are shapeshifters. They are. I... Couldn't. I'm actually at a loss for words. Never in my life have I watched a snatch game and not known which contestant was which contestant. That has to say at least something about this snatch game. I mean, it makes sense. There were so many weird moments between Kiana and Angel, and it was like. Can you imagine if that was your sibling? I thought that was Maxi and Angel, and I'm like, what is going on here? So now, <laughs> Kiana being like BFF, BFF at the end makes yeah. way more sense. That's make me more sense now. It's not I was as just weird. like, what is going on here? Yeah. You told me it was Maxi, and I was like, okay, this is weird. This is really weird if that's Maxi. Well, I thought I'm it like, was they're Kiana. very comfortable with each other. And I was like, and that's why I was saying them like Sugar and Spice were on the same panel too, and they didn't interact the way that these siblings are interacting. 
Yeah. They put someone in between Crazy. them, to be fair. Because they knew they would just be talking the entire time, just like in class. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> Mick Chanel was Rufa Mai Quinto. Yep. Uh, pop star bench was, as you said, Sarah Geronimo. Tita Baby was Kama Tayan, which is the Grim Reaper. And uh, Zimba Ding was Willem Doesn't, mm-hmm. as you said. Willem. It's Wilma. Wilma. Sorry. Oof. <laughs> Willem Doesn't. Listen, we have to move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can't. I, I, I can't have that kind of smoke on me. So the girls all talk about it, uh, and I guess they just keep talking about it. Mama Pow comes in and talks. Oh, this is very interesting. You have some more. Well, not this specifically. I don't know <laughs> the drama, Mama. To be honest, what like, is happening here? There was. Zimba Ding goes on to portray this character in the Snatch Game in w- in a way that Mama Pal calls offensive, but because I'm completely dumb, I don't understand. But I didn't find her performance particularly funny. No, I didn't know any of the references, but it was also kind of just... Everyone else was, was hella cringing, missed. too. Yeah. Both her and Mix, I was kind of like, this is just, I don't want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone Mix, else mostly did a good job. Mix was doing a character that her drag mother had done on season one of Snatch Game, and her drag mother had done it very well. So the expectation was that she either had to do it even better, or she was going to, you know. Yeah. It's a very weird choice. Mm-hmm. And so we have here, Angel comes in, and she's talking to the judges about Jay Quinn. How do you feel? How would you feel if uh, you uh, they went up to the main judge and another judge and uh, started talking about you? I mean, it's pretty mean, especially because they're not even that far. Like, if they zoom out the shot, they're, like, maybe 10 feet away. Wait, <laughs> dis- and Jay Quinn does confessionals. Within, yeah. That implies an ear here. Yeah. And they have her immediately. And right after. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. It's it's insane. We find out that Angel's character of uh, Carla, uh, no, sorry, Maria Carla, is from some theater or a book of some kind <laughs> or a play, yeah. and it's this very uh, like not prunish character. I don't know how to explain it. Did you get the vibe? No. Not really. I don't know half of these characters. I was just in it for the ride. It was very, I am the dame, I have my big uh, like dress on and my hat, yeah. oh my god, I can't believe like, I said something so dirty. Like a conservative lady. Mm-hmm. And then gets more and more progressively like raunchier yeah. and like to the point of unrobing. Yeah. And we'll talk about unrobing as we continue on in this episode. Because mm-hmm. I'm worried that we might have to Fast forward through some shots. Uh oh. For obvious reasons. Well, obvious not obvious to you right now. <laughs> okay, so we're in the snatch game. Are you ready Ooh. for the snatch game? I'm ready. Teen heartthrob. Kyle. Teen. Uh, wait. <laughs> Teen heartthrob as in. As in teenagers, teenagers love, him. love him, or is he he's a teenager? I hope he's not a teenager. Angel was, <laughs> was flirting with him the whole time. I need to know this. No, I need to know this. No, Teenage Heartthrob is like Jonas Brothers, Jesse McCartney, Kyle Akari, born. Oh no! What? Born June twentieth, two thousand three. No. Teen wait, Heart- wait, what? That makes him, like, the same age as my sister. That's kind of weird. He's not that much younger. I didn't think he was younger than us. What the hell? That's crazy. Wait, 2000 and? You just gotta, you gotta stop after 2000. <laughs> insane. 2000 <laughs> and three. Yeah. Love that for him. 
And love that for Angel. And it's like when you talk to a little kid. <laughs> and they're like... Their, their birthday starts with 19? We were born in 2010. What do you mean your mom born in 19 something? And you're born in 2000? 2000 and what? Nothing. Just 2000. Close to the point. If I ever forget how old I am, I just ask what year it is. True. Oh my god, is that how time travel works? Yeah. I would. It would and be so easy for me to know how old I was if I time traveled. That's true. And since you are born, like, right at the start of the year, it's basically foolproof. <laughs> oh, because, like, I could be, I don't even, like, I, I guess I could ask the month. You know, yeah. like, what year is it? What month? <laughs> yeah. And I'd be like, wow, I'm that year old. Yeah. So, yes, we are on to the Snatch Game. John Santos and Kyle are here. Teen Heartthrob. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess let's just talk about it. Mm -hmm. This was an incredible performance. From uh, John Fidelaga as Angel Loshin. Yeah, I love the different celebrity impressions, even though I didn't get them. (laughs) Like, I'm not familiar with this actress. It was clear that she was doing a great job with her character. And at one point, she jumps off the platform and like doesn't know how high it is and just like stumbles a bit and that's just commitment because she's tiny and it's like to a normal person they could probably make that jump no problem like if kiana had to make that jump she'd probably like you know just it would be a step but she Mm -hmm. launched herself and flew my favorite part about the wow presents english uh captions is that if there's a Mm -hmm. reference you'll get a little asterisk and it'll give you like a little parentheses like this is what this is in reference to yeah that's very helpful. Thank you, Wow Presents. <laughs> what, what were you saying? Sorry. No, that's it. That's it. I don't I have loved that many she, I mean, John Fidelaga tried not to slay a challenge, a, a challenge impossible. Mm-hmm. Unless it's about sewing, but we don't talk about the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Moving to the next one. What a what a wide shot. Mm-hmm. This was Maxi. Mm-hmm. That's Maxi. Can't you see it now? I can kind of see it now, but from like, I don't know, this gave me really Kiana. <laughs> I was just like, this is totally something Kiana would do. Yeah, she did a great job as well. Yeah. There's one oh. question. I forget what was that question. <laughs> I don't know. We took great notes. We didn't take great notes. She is the part-time secretary to the Grim Reaper. Mm. So much fun energy from Maxi. Definitely bounced well with everyone, and the physicality was on point. Yes. Mama. Okay. Pass. No, dear. Pass. Yeah, I think it's a crazy decision to do a character that's been done really well. Especially by your drag mom. Yeah, like, what was the goal? To upstage her? Or just to, like, I guess to pay respect to her, supposedly, but... Yeah. It didn't come across. Confucius. No, it didn't work. Uh, As the judges say, I was confused. I had, like, no... I have no notes for, for Confucius. So it was just, it was just whatever. I'm gonna pull my uh, "I was uh, confused" quote from Kiana directly, because she said it too. I, if we're if we're doing an annotated bibliography, I just would <laughs> like to make sure that my sources are correct. And you, you know, know all about those. And I know all about those. Thank you, school. <laughs> I've done my fair share. <laughs> Those are the worst. <laughs> You've been around the block with an annotated bibliography. Mm-hmm. The modern bad boy. This is insane. Yana. I'm like, she could have won. Easily. I was surprised that she was safe. Who was in the top? It, oh, see, and now you have the thing where you like, oh, I guess we, I won't talk about the top yet. The top you three. Okay. okay, I think we can talk about it. There's not that much. 
it's um the top three this episode for the snatch game is uh john kia uh it's john angel and tita and i feel yes. like if you put kiana in the top without the intention of having her win then you have to take tita out of that top and i don't mm-hmm. think like if you want tita to feel good <laughs> and like yeah. you want her to feel respected and appreciated you have to put her in the top here no i think tita deserved to be in the top here for sure if not for angel like completely taking over the snatch game i think tita could have been Mm-hmm. The winner. Oh, easily. Yeah. And then you have but... Kiana there too, and it's like, let's just give them a four way win. I think, yeah, Kiana could have been in the top too, but Angel was kind of the one running the show. Running the show, and Kiana was just there. Aiden. Yeah, it's kind of like the sidekick to her, all of her bits. Mm hmm. Yeah, it were, was were, Angel were, you know, grabbing was Kiana's head and putting it in yeah. her crotch. Yeah. I don't know who Baron Geisler is. <laughs> no notes. No. I'm ki- he stands on his chair and says, "Everybody, I'm king of the world." He looks so much like a troublemaker. Mm-hmm. Of course, the ever demure, ever classy Maria mm-hmm. Clara would never do anything as scandalous as say a bad word or even think about showing a little bit of shoulder. Yeah, this was great. Work. Work. She's giving very much I am a gay icon. Mm. Work. Our next guest is the Grim Reaper is in the house. Mm. I guess the Grim Reaper of the Philippines is called Mama Tayan. Tayan. Mm. Apparently. Yeah. Oh, and they have the, they're working. This is so funny. They bounce off of each other so good here. Mm-hmm. Maxi and Tita being able to immediately have this like relationship <laughs> in the snatch game. It, it it there were definitely story arcs happening, an overall story arc and then separate story arcs, which is what mainly made this snatch game feel intriguing and interesting, mm-hmm. entertaining. Sarah G. Geronimo. Why is it Sarah G G? Or is it her middle name is G? I guess. This outfit's not bad. I like the the red sequin with the big hole in it. Looks like olives. I feel like Bench didn't have a lot of lines. Mm -mm. I think that was probably to her benefit. Yeah, I can't think of anything she said the whole time. And she does start by singing a little bit. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh. So I'm feeling like uh, Kiana's character probably peed on someone. Possibly. The chance is there. I don't feel comfortable touching on this snatch game performance. Yeah. I don't even know what what we missed. But there's apparently some... Big offense there. Yeah, some offensive language. Or offensive things that she said and then... Offensive jokes. Didn't... It didn't seem like she apologized for it, if we missed it, or maybe it was Mm. edited out. I don't know what happened, but. So this first one is, Khaled Karen is now an actress. Uh, Kung Mai Mega Star, Diamond Star. I can't read those words. (laughs) I don't know what this means. What kind of star is Khaled Karen? That was my best Mama Pow impression. That was pretty good. Thank you. So, Eric says... Oh, sorry, his name is Kyle. I'm gonna <laughs> actually die. Someone's gonna kill me for that. <laughs> oh, no. He has 444 tatted. That's cool. Uh, star for all reasons. So, let's see if we get a match. Okay, we're not gonna do this where we go through every answer. That would be actually <laughs> stupid. Come on, guys. This isn't our first Snatch game. <laughs> I thought uh, you were going to do that for a second. <laughs> really got me. I was like, damn. I'm really going to sit here and watch jokes, it again. Jokes, 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 jokes. Jokes, jokes, jokes. <laughs> I got jokes. The ladies don't know this, but I do carry the jokes with me. Mm. I carry the dark side of jokes. 
The ladies don't know what the men do. <laughs> so let me pull out. You know what time it is. They bring you to the runway, runway, runway. Run, 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 runway. Absolutely. Exciting. Enchanting. Not even mm. close to be. Okay, so what do you think about this look? What? <laughs> no, what do you mean? <laughs> she's skinny. This oh, she's giving. Oh, there she Body is. Body queen. <laughs> Wow. Oh. I love surgery. Oh. <laughs> you know, this is great. I mean, it's not like I have a TikTok already uploaded where I struggle putting a character in a box. Oh, God. You know, because, like, why would I even, like, dream of such... What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? This shit freaking sucks, man. I really, not, like, am dropping a ball. Oop. It's terrible, actually. Oh, God. It's actually, like, the worst. <laughs> it's actually never been this bad before. How did it end up on the side like how that? How did this... <laughs> well, I told you, my aspect ratio changes. Okay, this is how I've chosen to fix this. Okay. This is nice. what I got my degree in. Mm hmm Fucking around. Oh, editing. Oh, yeah, editing. <laughs> okay. Who's this that? Is... Who's that girl? Who's that girl? It's Maxi. Mm -hmm. I love this look. This look was this so good. This is essentially my favorite of the night. I think it is my favorite. <laughs> the way it... Oh my god. The way it moves, it was beautiful in the wind. Oh yes. I love the beads. This is like... Oh, I love that like dark blue. Mm -hmm. Goodness. The teardrop. I love the horns, the horn hat, and then like everyone yeah. was like, I'm gonna use these big fabrics, and very few girls were like, but I'm not only gonna use these big fabrics, I'm also gonna have like, I'm gonna have beads that flow like wind chimes in the wind to give mm -hmm. a little bit more texture, a little bit more interest. I love how the boot design complements the bodysuit design, you know? Like that's thought, mm -hmm. that's not just wearing a pair of white pumps. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm eating it. I'm eating it as well. This did make me feel rain, and I was thinking here, like, is this all going to be about weather? Because next up is Mix Chanel, the weather girl. <laughs> this is a very awkward shot. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. uh, let's go over here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? Oh, frick. I'm sorry, what? What are these pictures? <laughs> the best I could do. Oh, she was running in, downstage in the rain. I mean... Mix Chanel to try and get into one pose for the screenshot challenge. Impossible. Yeah. Oh, it's windy out here. All my League of Legends fans will love a Janna, forecast Janna reference. Yeah, I kind of agree with the judges here in that it looks very... Pedestrian. Pedestrian. Because it's not as glamorous at all as the other looks we get. And doesn't blow in the wind as much either, especially after right after Maxi and how like how enchanted I was after seeing that, <laughs> and I get this, I'm like, eh. like missing. It's giving missing. weather, but it, is it giving wind? No. I like how the shoes and tie are made out of like a newspaper texture or like a print. Oh. I like that in the hair, it is ribbons, I guess, and he ha and there was a hat and the reporter hat. I like the the it, it 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 sells the illusion of wafting in the wind, but where yeah. does it sell the fantasy of you know being shiny? That's true. <laughs> like what happened to being shiny? Missing the glamour. The Very glitz. campy though. I mean, but that's what she was going for. Mm hmm. Did you stone Wasn't those tights? Apparently not. All right. I mean, for me, it kind of got crazy when she was walking around on the stage, have, holding the microphone and the umbrella both in the same hand, yeah. and then like having to waft her own thing and behind her, I'm like... Edit. We... Edit, girl. Mm -mm. Doing too much. Mm -hmm. Overthinking. <laughs> Overthinking seems to be a big problem for Mix. Next up, we have... 
Uh, who is this? <laughs> yeah, is this a test? Or are you genuinely asking me? No, this? Well, I thought this was Maxi. <laughs> no, it's Keanu. Oh, okay. I, I just got that. Um, got th to get the shoe, awesome. Mama. I, wow, look at the shoe. I didn't see the shoe until now. You see how high above the ground she is? Is Insane. she going to jump from there? <laughs> She's going to jump. <laughs> Yeah, I love the autumn fall vibes. Love the jewelry on her head. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. I'm eating this. Yana can do no wrong. Like every runway, she's just amazing. It's very difficult. It's very difficult for Kiana to disappoint. Even when she gets into fights with people, you take her side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm eating this as well. I love that those that Colors kind of so thing. Pretty. Love, love, love that kind of thing. Yes. Next up, we have... Jay Quinn. Quinn. Um, um... <laughs> I love Apothecary <laughs> Apprentice. Like, I love historical Chinese drama about, yeah. you know, like... About stuff. Stuff. I love that stuff. <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the hair is crazy. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the hair. But, like, I get it. That's like, the, the, okay. You, okay, okay. Why well, don't like that it's blonde? The, first of all, yes. I don't like that it's blonde. It doesn't create a nice contrast off or, over the white and peach of it all. I, it's giving the romantic love partner who is a dude from Apothecary Diaries, and it's just because it's the hair it's like it's just i don't know like i it's i i don't it doesn't feel is it okay to say it doesn't feel feminine <laughs> i don't know if that's okay it it just doesn't but i don't know if that if if the feeling was not to go feminine here but give that like a masculine sort of side like i feel that but i don't I know no if clue. that's the intention i have no clue but i i get what you mean 100 percent. it's giving she's like the hottest prince mm. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, all the girls are, like... And even some of the guys are, like, Oh my god, you're as beautiful as a girl. Sort of vibes, you know? <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna leave it on my plate. I don't... I'm not crazy about it. I understand the intent. But... <laughs> yeah, it's not, not enough to send it back. I think it blew in the wind nicely, and that was the point. Mm-hmm. It was giving very drama. Mm -hmm. The shoe, though. The shoes. Next up, we have uh, Pop Star Bench. What's going on on the on those boots? Uh, Why is there like a little? It looks like a tissue. I think she's supposed to be a kite. Colors. Yeah, she. Oh yeah, right. She was supposed to be a kite. I get kite. Yeah, I guess. For some reason, the kite being, like, upside down above the knee is feels a little weird to me. Like, I feel like they should be mm -hmm. trying to, like, fly upwards. Yeah. I don't love the... I don't love the kite on the knee. I would have... This feels like... Okay, so I'm going to stand up for this because this is how important this is for me. Okay. I would have loved if, like, of course you have the, uh, the leotard design where it goes down, but you know how it, like, does like an hourglass here mm. if there was just another piece of fabric that went down like diagonally here to sort of make like a, a yes. square here and just so it's like a little flap in front like I to be like been sort of like a pseudo skirt mm -hmm. it would have for me given the idea of kite yeah i'm leaving it on my plate mm -hmm. i feel like this look is I just need some editing, but as we've as Popstar Bench like reveals in Untucked, some of the designs and designers she went to didn't quite convey the ideas she was wanting to, and you know that's yeah. a problem when you're working with other people. You know, you get lost in communication, you get lost uh, in the conflict between your artistic visions. Some like ideas can get lost in translation. So I definitely see like just some editing would make this work, but she probably did make those edits, but they didn't get added in, you know? 
Yeah, it sucks that she's getting critiqued for her runways. I feel like it's really hard to get critiqued for that because you, like, you already brought what you brought. There isn't much you can do unless you're a seamstress mm-hmm. and like you're willing to do, start everything from scratch. You kind of just have to live with it and hope that they like what you did. Like your I, runway package mm-hmm. is kind of set in stone. Yeah, so I really tough. don't know which. I I feel like. Maybe if someone on set for quick alterations, like let's say I brought Maybe. a cat suit and doesn't quite fit, they have someone backstage who can like sort of like just do a quick thing to like at least make it look presentable. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, what we should be really wanting to do is portray art and elevate it to its highest possible standard, you know? Mm-hmm. So if we have the resources and the capabilities, it should be given to the girls. But it feels like they're almost something in those messier moments that they're trying to sort of catch. Mm. Next up, we have... Uh, is is that John Fidelaga? Mm-hmm. Look Gorgeous. how small she, she looks. Oh, I just so, know it's pink. It's so beautiful. The Victoria's Secret fantasy... So this is my favorite look of the entire runway. I get that. I well, think it's pink. definitely, for me, it's caught between this one and Maxi. That was very strong. But these are so, they're so pretty. The feathers. They yeah, made the a comment. One, the only one who used feathers during a runway. They would, they blow in the wind so nicely. <laughs> very eye-catching. And this is... So I feel like sometimes when you use this flowy fabric, they'll try and be like, oh, I'm going to make a big flowy skirt and it's going to like flow behind me and I'll have strips behind me, like sort of flowing from like either from the back of my neck area down like a cape or from my butt down. It is so smart to have these rods and then have the fabric just attached like that. Mm -hmm. That guarantees the fabric moves the way you want it. Yes. This was so conceptually smart for how this runway was going to turn out. Love it. Eating wow. it. Makeup is beautiful too. Eating it without a doubt. <laughs> compliments to the chef. Oh, heavy compliments to this. Heavy on it. Heavy compliments. Next mm-hmm. up, we have uh, Zimba Ding as yep. a force of nature. Is it just me or was the wig a little too high? It does look a bit too high. I don't feel any particular way about this look. Yeah, me neither. I did love when she was lip syncing for her life and it broke. <laughs> yeah, when she like did her split turning around. But she like started off by ripping it off. Well, it, the song starts and then the top pops off. Oh, it pops off? I thought yeah. she just took it off on purpose. Mm-mm. It oh. looks a little accidental, and then by the end Ooh. of it, she's wet and probably a little cut up from all the broken plastic. Oh, oh God. But, yeah, I don't... This look is okay. Yeah. Leaving it on my plate. Leaving it on my plate. Next up, we have Tita Baby. I almost said Cheryl Hole. Oh, no. But this is... I mean, this look at her. This is nice. The billionaire widow fantasy is what she called it. Mm, The blowing. The blowing. I love the tight. Mm -hmm, The the design. Yes. This was gorgeous. And everyone was like, oh, Tita Baby, you're proving that age is just a number. Has anyone been paying attention to Tita Baby at all? (laughs) Like, she's killing the game. It's not about, like, her whole, she's going on, like, if I say like one more time, I'm going to punch myself. She starts her story and goes, I feel like a failure. I haven't really achieved what I wanted to achieve this far in my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you see her sort of start to self-realize and actualize that she's achieving what she wants to achieve. And it's just translating so well from the screen to us. Like it's a joy. Yeah, it's awesome. I think she could easily win this episode. Mm-hmm. It was really... It felt like it could have been hers. It felt like, in terms of, like, group play, she was the one that had the most other people around her bouncing off of her, and she was giving it to them. Yeah. Which is very important. 
Not, but this isn't about Snatch Game. This is about the look, and I'm eating the look. Mm-hmm. Me too. Next up, we have Angel as Angel an as angel. an angel. Yes. Gorgeous. Yeah. All right, I'm eating it. Next up, <laughs> we have. It. <laughs> no, I mean like it, it's one of those rare <laughs> occasions where it's, the beauty is without words. It speaks for itself. Well, how do you feel about the, like the pants or like the cutoff mm. there? It is a bit of an awkward cutoff, I will say, for the pant thing. <laughs> but I don't know. It's the the pant is also I'm like looking at it's giving nude illusion too, like with its own cutout. So it like, it plays upon itself, you know. <laughs> uh, that's. I do like it. That's the last look. Look at us breezing through the runways. Huh? Breezing through the bringing to the runway. Mm -hmm. And let's, I almost just deleted that. What uh -huh. the frick, man? Why is everything falling apart all the time? Don't you ever just want to go nuts? Go ape shit? Oh, all right. So the queens come back to the main stage. Anything good happen in Untucked? Mm, Tita's boyfriend called. That was good. And it was, again, the whole conversation about age is just a number, etc. cetera. Um, Popstar was upset because Mom and Pao, before she was sent off as being safe, Mom and Pao said the, the runway was not great. Which was crazy, by the way, to send a safe queen back and say, before you go back there, I want to let you know that your runways are, where, are is what is keeping you out of the top. That yeah. is an insane comment to make. Yeah, it is. Like, again, like, what are you supposed to do? There is not that much you can do. Like, you can't just have a, the runway package like Popstar. You know what and they then should alter do? it, become like Kiana. Like, you can't just, you can't just change it that drastically. They should have a big box of rhinestones and glue and say... <laughs> Listen, we know you can't change your outfits, but why don't you sparkle them up? I'm a big advocate for the sparklier, the better. I haven't seen mm -hmm. one outfit that has been incredibly sparkly, and I've been, I hate that. Yeah. It's hard to fuck it up. Mm -hmm, because it's the light is so blinding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's just... with uh, This kind of critique without a solution is like kind of difficult, you know? Yeah, I'd be upset too. Like, really, what? What are you supposed to do? And I think it says something that it wasn't kept in the like the like main episode. It was like mm -hmm. put in untucked. Yeah. So the girls come back out of untucked. Uh, yeah, we have Kiana, Maxi, and Popstar, who were safe. Um. And they're just play fighting the entire time. They're making up scenarios. <laughs> yeah. And what's was crazy was Angel just flirting with Kyle, the guest judge, the whole time. Well, you know what's funny is last Untucked, the Untucked prior to this episode, she was saying that the one person she really wanted to meet was him. Insane. She manifested it for herself. I love that for her. Or they got on a... This, epi this season was made for Angel to win. They called in a favor. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they did save her. Two weeks ago. Angel and... to be the first queen to win after being saved from the from almost going home. Oh, no one's ever won from that? <sighs> Diabetti got... Oh, she didn't win, but she got... Close. Candy Muse got close, too. Yeah. Candy, well, yeah, can... Candy, wait. Candy, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done with you yet. Insane. <laughs> that shit lives in my head, Red <laughs> Candy, <laughs> so Candy, funny. wait. And then I can see, I can see Got Mick coming. I can am, see. Am it. I am I crazy for not understanding why RuPaul saved Candy? Like, Candy's a great drag queen, but is she like the best drag queen of all time and like worthy of being saved like that? I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, Green Gay probably has like a three-hour documentary on why Candy was saved on YouTube somewhere. Whoa. Insane. The riggery of season 13. Mm -hmm. 
uh, they uh, the queens the safe queens live it up. The other queens come in. We have a top of what we said already. It is Angel. We have Kian. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> Damn. We have, we have John, John and we have Tita as our top three. Yeah. Sorry, the other girls have been in the top so many times. It's kind of hard. Yeah. And then in the bottom, we have a trio of... Zimba, J. Quinn, and Mix. Mix it up. Mix yeah. it up. Stir it up. I love when the girls say, I'm just stirring. They will bring up shits like, I didn't start it. I didn't say this about you. I'm just stirring. And they will say it completely seriously, too. Like, it, what do you, it's a bad thing that I'm just stirring. I'm just stirring. <laughs> like, if you didn't want me to stir, you shouldn't have said something, anything. Because I'm going to stir. One thing about me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, so uh. Tita Baby is safe. Mm -hmm. Does not win. Angel wins the episode. Mm -hmm. which is awesome good for her and instead of getting any prize money she gets seven minutes in heaven with uh, <laughs> Kyle well not actually they do almost get married but mm -hmm. and I'm sure I... Angel's boyfriend loved that at home yeah, honestly he was being cucked this whole episode <laughs> if I had a boyfriend and he was like babe I have one celebrity hookup I really, really need in my life, and if it ever happened, I'd be, I'd, I'd, I'd love you forever if you let me. I'd like, dude, I don't care. You can go fuck that guy on Grinder right now. <laughs> like, just, I'm trying to play Minecraft. Get out of my room. Well, it, it's it's fine if beforehand she was like, "This is my hall pass." I think she did but... because I everyone was talking, like even Maxi, but in the pre uh, previous untuck was like. Uh, like this is something she needs. Like this is this is a known fact about her. Interesting. They know yeah, they, she's they, obsessed they, with him. They, I guess they saved her because they were like, we can't let this guest friend go to waste. She has to be there. Be mm -hmm. there. Can you imagine if she went home and he went there? We wouldn't she have would... gotten this entire episode. Yeah, that'd have been insane. <laughs> There's a universe out there where this is the worst episode in the entire Drag Race franchise. Mm. And it's because Angel's not there. <laughs> It would have been okay. But she did make the episode. So Angel no one wins. else would have started to strip on that Snatch Game stage if Angel didn't get up on um, there first. That's true. So the bottom two comprises of Jay Quinn and uh, Zimba Ding. Yeah. And they sink to RuPaul's Geronimo. Yep. I mean, what happened to music? We can't have nice things. On this podcast. Geronimo, Geronimo, they're falling like they're dominoes. Uh oh, RuPaul's gonna copyright. Careful. <laughs> I'm yeah, they go nuts, they do their dance. Um, and then Jay Quinn is sent home. Yeah, there's a moment where Zimba's at the back and I th for a second I thought she was gonna pull a Yudi Puda and like said, leave. I'm done. <laughs> We're losing him, they're dropping like flies. But then she came back. <laughs> No, the way, like, that, I didn't even realize, like, she was going back there, and this is another lip sync with Jay Quinn where her opponent would walk off. I'd be like, damn, bitch, they okay. hate you. They'd rather walk off than let you beat them. Mm. Well, that was not the case this time. Mm -mm. Jay Quinn lost fair and square. Mm -hmm. And Kiana was... It was not upset about that outcome at all. No. Uh, are, are we going to talk, talk about it? Are we going to talk about it? So this was insane sociopathic behavior, but I stand Kiana, so I can't see this as anything other than just icon behavior. You know, the problematic gay guy in me. Mm. Sees, a, sees a woman-like figure doing good. Okay. This is the shot. Noticed. Uh, notice. Kiana all the way over here on the left. In mm -hmm. this. And notice this little pink towel that is from Jay Quinn's outfit. Is I that it? it? Oh, it's just going to. Okay. Oh. No, it's oh, fine. Did, they're not going to show no, it. No, I'm. So she goes, she picks it up. Everyone saw that. Everyone saw her run and pick that up. Huh? We saw it. You saw it? Okay. So then 
next shot. Okay, prepare. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, so I wasn't gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do this. So this is Kiana back here behind the Anne. I'm sorry not to like get visual deep dive on you. She and everyone saw her use that pink thing to wipe up the water, and everyone saw that. It's crazy. I didn't see it in my first watch until you pointed it out. Kiana takes Jay Quinn's scarf towel thingy. Because, and you know what Jay Quinn's? Because it's the same color as the outfit, and her sword is still on the floor. She did not take her sword with her. That's going to mm -hmm. have to get uh, UPS'd back to her, wherever she is when she gets off the airplane. Crazy. It was, honestly, I watched it. My reading of it the first time was sociopathic. But my reading of it the second time is mother, mother, mother is mothering, mother mothered so hard on the mother beat. I mean, it, it is pretty funny. It was, it's yeah. hilarious. Damn. Oh, I think that means that the episode's over. That's it. That's the episode. Uh, thank you all for coming in on another unqualified review. Uh, hey, can I get an M.A.? M.A. Hey. M.A. Hey. Alien. Alien? What was that about? I have no idea. Alright, let us know why they said alien at the end of this episode. And does Jay Quinn tip you? <laughs> let us know. And is the YouTube algorithm fucking you? Are you the YouTube al- Are you fucking the- Are you fucking Nate Jacobs? This ending is unhinged. Okay, goodbye everyone. See you next week. Bye. I can't.